In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the key passing concepts in Madden 23, and it comes to us out of the bunch offset formation. And the play that we're gonna be taking a look at today is P.A. Reed in the Indianapolis Colts playbook. Now, this is one of the cornerstone passing concepts of Madden 23. Um, I've called it cross. Uh, you might call it something else, motions or cross or cross or slant. I don't know what you call it, but this play is super, super effective. Again, if you want to get my entire Colts bunch offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is down in the description. So the play is P.A. Reed out of Gun Bunch Offset, and how the play basically works is this. What we're trying to accomplish here is we're essentially trying to attack the left side of the field as well as simultaneously attacking the middle of the field. If you think about it, most people, when they defend bunch, the primary things they're trying to defend is they're trying to defend verticals. They're also trying to defend maybe like the street corner flat uh, concept that we all know and love, okay? But really one of the areas that a lot of people aren't really trying to defend is this left side of the screen. So the setup for this is fairly simple. We're going to streak Marquez Vada Scantling. Uh, we're gonna drag our tight end. We're gonna slant Michael Irvin, uh, our outside uh, bunch receiver. And then I like to go ahead and block my running back uh, just so that I can have extra pass protection. We're then gonna motion the slant outside and we're gonna snap the ball just like this. And what you'll see is this little drag is going to pretty consistently get open against main coverage. Now you could, if you wanted to put him on a standard in route as well, um, the standard in route will run a little slower and I'll show you that real quick. So if I put him on a little basic five yard in route, you'll see he's gonna run a little slower, but sometimes he will be a little bit more effective against man coverage specifically. Uh, some of this is dependent upon just your personnel and your abilities. I recommend short in elite on your tight end. I recommend short in elite on basically everyone, everywhere you can get it. Um, and I also recommend short out elite. Short in and short out elite together are two of the best ways to beat man coverage. Speaking of short out elite, if they press you in man coverage, this route is going to get open over the top for a touchdown if they don't have safety help. And this in lies really the formula or the, um, the reason why this concept is so good because they have to put us, they have to put help over here and it limits the adjustments that they can do to that sideline to be able to have anyone that is going to defend this crosser. Now, uh, I'm going to show you something else you can do at this play that I actually really like to do out of my own offense. Um, but what you'll see here is this crosser typically is going to beat man well across the middle of the field. Now, one of the things that I actually really like to do um, is just simply, uh, you can actually get a, the, run the same basic concept, but just change the depths of the route. So instead of putting him on that crosser, we're now going to put Julian Edelman on a, uh, a slot apprentice post. And what you'll notice here is it will run the route a little bit differently, but it's also a little bit more effective specifically against man coverage. So feel free to do stuff like that. You can kind of subtly tweak this. One of the most underrated um, things that you can do, in my opinion, is actually you could run a uh, double slants. So you've got your drag, you've got your slant. Notice they're running at different depths. And what's important about that is if they do go to zone, one of the things they're going to have to do to stop this playing zone is they're going to have to play hard flat coverage. They have to play hard flats to stop this tight end drag. The beauty of this is the slant, when it runs its route across the field, is going to end up at about 15 to 20 yards downfield. And you can see there, as long as we don't get, you know, a free form into, you know, literally the next planet, it's going to be wide open. And so they have to have a deep zone that's going to be able to defend the, um, the deep fade. So that's going to be like a deep blue or whatever. And then you've got your slant that's gonna get over in this little soft spot. I think that's actually a super underrated variation of this play. Um, and you can actually invert it as well, which, you know, again, you could do some stuff, some really interesting stuff with all this. But one of the other things you can do is you can post um, Michael Irvin or just put him on a smart routed dig. So something like this, we're gonna let him set his feet. And you see how we can kind of expand and expound on the same concept, but run it just a little bit differently uh, based on alignment situation and, a, and where we're actually at on the field. Now, another thing that you can do that's actually super interesting is a lot of people will run some variation of this. And this is basically the best way to stop it because they're gonna use her in the middle of the field and they're gonna basically say, I've got to guard the slant myself. And that is a double Mabel cover two style defense. What you can do uh, to kind of counter this, especially if you have outside apprentice, is you can go ahead and take your outside player 
and put him on a smart or a uh, a, a uh, slot up or a outside of Prince post route. And what you'll notice is if it's cover two, you can split the safeties up the middle of the field and have a potential big play over the top. This is kind of the chess match of Madden and how you can really take one concept and turn it into multiple, there's multiple layers within concepts. Again, I talk about this all the time. You want to grasp the main principles and then you want to apply them differently within your methods that you have. Um, you can actually apply this same concept to whatever offense you're running. What's actually really interesting is you can actually apply this concept in a little bit of a different way. And I want to show you something kind of neat you can actually basically flip flop it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our tight end on an out route, we're gonna fade uh, or streak Michael Irvin, and then we're going to slant Julian Edelman and motion him across. And what you're gonna notice, this is basically the same thing. The out route is the drag, Julian Edelman is gonna be that slot apprentice post type route, and this guy's gonna be your backside uh, dig route. And so you see here, we've kind of created basically the same passing concept just running and attacking a completely different side of the field, which is, I think, really kind of what happens when you start to really grasp everything. But anyway, um, you know, again, the beauty of this crosser that you have default on the play is that it runs its route relatively well against man coverage. It's a shallower crosser than like the one out of verticals. And so it gets underneath in a really nice little soft spot against the defense. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description. $10 gets you access to all of our ebooks, our updates, and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. So make sure to go down to the description below and go check out the Patreon.